up Lily Android Sonic Fan Gal here and I'm back again with my annual monthly post. Um, in case you didn't know, this is a guinea pig. His name is S'mores. He's Abyssinian, which means he's long haired. Um, I have a dog and two guinea pigs. They're both boys, but the other one didn't want to really show up. <laughs> he's a little camera shy, but this one seems to love cameras. Hey, oh, I was going to talk to you guys today about um, about why I don't really post much. A lot has happened this year that I didn't know could happen. I went to the beach with my boyfriend about a month back, back in August. And after that, it just seems like all hell broke loose. <laughs> um, I've been starting with college. I had to transfer. Uh, I also had to transfer to a community college who is not a very good college. They're very crooked, kind of. So I'm in a major I didn't even see myself ever being in. And you're probably wondering why I chose that major. Well, it's because um, I heard that it was supposed to be like my dream major. In case nobody knew, I've always been into filmmaking. I've always been into filmmaking in the entertainment business. But because of everything that's happened to me, I can't really do it that much. So... I thought when making this YouTube channel, I thought I'd be able to post a lot and do all these things. Well, turns out I've, I've had so much stress on me this past month, my whole body has even taken a toll for the worst. Um, no, I, I don't have cancer before anybody says anything. I know I don't have very many subscribers on here and I know that not very many people have probably watched or heard of my channel. A lot of people are probably wondering, well, I don't know why we care. And I know I don't really look that great right now. <laughs> but this is pretty much the only actual time I actually get. So, before anybody says anything, that's why. I've just, I've been so busy with college. I've been so busy with school and work. I've been, I can't even get a, my life back. I barely sleep. I barely eat pretty much because of said stress. Um, I guess I have some advice for you girls who are freshmen in college and probably don't know what they're doing. Just always listen to yourself. Listen to what you want. Don't go around and ask every Tom, Dick, and Harry what you want to do because... I did that, and my whole life has just taken a toll for the worst. <laughs> um, also, just try to trust your own opinions. Just trust people that you know love you and want what's best for you and care about you or talk to animals, which is what I sometimes do. Hey, Mary, it's s'mores. I sometimes talk to my animals, or I talk to... God, <laughs> and I'm not saying that you should, but just talk to somebody because if you don't, it will just get pent up in there and it won't stop. And also, if you have anxiety or stress and it takes big tolls on your body because stress can, um, try this little thing that I do. It's you ask yourself these five questions about senses. What do you see? What do you hear? What do you taste? What do you smell? Stuff like that. How do you feel? And it will pretty much calm you down sometimes. I mean, sometimes you have to sit there and you have to ask and you really have to make yourself think, you know, what am I tasting? What am I smelling? What am I listening to? Stuff like that. And sometimes just listening or watching a favorite YouTuber or watching YouTube videos calms me down too. So if you feel stressed out about anything, if you feel like life's just getting worse, it will get better. I promise it will. 
And I know my, I'm speaking to myself as much as I am you, but trust me, it will get better in the end. It will. I didn't ever think I would get this little guy because long-haired guinea pigs are a very rare breed. And by long-haired, I mean he's a little bushy, like if you can see him here. He's a bushy guinea pig. And they're very rare. There was only two in my area where I'm from. Well, I live like an hour away from any local pet store. So it was hard to find him. It was. But I finally did. I found him and everything worked out good for that. And I know it came for you. Oh, no, eating my necklace. It came for you. I mean, anything can work out in the end. Everyone knows that. I mean, sometimes you'll sit there and you'll probably think, well, that's just a little bowl and it's not going to happen. Things just keep getting worse. <laughs> I know the feeling. It. I feel that way too. I know things get worse sometimes and it feels that way. But I promise things will get better and easier and I'll try to post more when I can because like I said, it's been really hard for me to post as I've just had so much to do and I never get any free time to myself or free time with my boyfriend, free time with my family, free time with anything. This is probably the most I've been alone in the past month. Pretty much. It's been a really hectic, long year for me. It's been a hard year for a lot of people, I'm guessing. But let's hope 2020 is good for all of us that are still holding out hope. If you're like me, I mean, just join the club. We got t-shirts. <laughs> but um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to subscribe, I guess. I'm not one of those people, will subscribe and like and leave a comment below to talk about your day or something like that. But, um, you don't have to follow, you don't have to subscribe, you don't have to do anything like that. But just be a little bit understanding. As I know, some people can be understanding, some people can be mean. Which I have yet to deal with that later on, which... It's not going to be a big deal. I've dealt with bullies my whole life, so. Hello. Yeah, my guinea pigs say I love to rumble strut. <laughs> so. I guess I'll just leave it at that. But I was just making this video just to let at least a few of my subscribers know. Or people who watch my videos. I was just letting everyone know. Oh, no, nipping me. That's not nice. I was just letting you guys know why I've just been so MIA this past few months. I don't know when the last time I posted was, but I just thought, you know, if anybody out there really does feel concerned about me, like, where is she? Where? Just, um, just be patient, be a little understanding a little, and I'll, I promise I'll try to post more. You want them? Yeah, I bet you do. All right. Goodbye, s'mores. Let's put you down. Oh, goodness. There we go. But, yeah. Um, thank you for everything. And thank you for your patience and your understanding. And I'm sorry for how long it's been. But I love you guys, even though I barely know you. <laughs> and good luck out there. And just hold out for 2020. It may be good, it may be bad. But just hold on out. We have three more months of this. Three more months of Hades in 2019. <laughs> um, which, I mean, it's like near, it's nearing the end of September. So technically we just have three and a half months left. Well, four and a half. No, I don't know. But thank you guys. And I just hope this advice kind of helps. For those of you who are still confused about what to do and what they're doing and that's another thing if you still don't know what your major is for college if you're just now in college and you're like I don't even know what my major is it don't matter I mean this life there's I mean there is a rush but you don't have to rush yourself into something and you don't have to try to be someone you're not because I mean that's just not right and I know that's from probably more like high school but for college um, 
just try to be in a major that you feel is right for you. Don't do it for your mom. Don't do it for your dad. Don't do it for your neighbor down the street or for your grandma or something like that. Do what you want to do. I guess that's all I have for today, but thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. Bye. Also, here's a Bugsy, everyone. He's blind as a bat, but he's full of love, even though he likes to run from me. All right, well, see you guys. Hope you enjoy the video. Bye.